Hi, today I wanted to go over what's a DWI map for a DWI case. Hi, why don't you come on into my office. My name is Larry Newman, I'm an attorney located in beautiful and today extremely cold Ithaca, New York. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the map, a map. Now recently I was online, I saw Google just updated all their maps and it is just amazing what you can do, how you can search, what you can find using their map app. Uh, my dad, one of the skill sets that I learned when I was a kid was how to read a map, a real map, a paper map, uh, in days before GPS, you know, my north, south, east, west directions, uh, understanding the key, uh, spacing between towns and villages and distances and the roads and why they were numbered certain ways and uh, it really gave me great insight and I realized, you know, you can take this map analogy and even bring it to a DWI case. You need to know the terrain, you need to know a direction, you need to see an overview First, you have to look at the forest, and then you get down deep, you zoom in, and you look at the trees. And within a DWI case, this is how it plays out. There's the overall process. The large scale of the map is you are charged with a crime, probable cause, you're going to have an initial appearance, pretrial conferences, potential motions against evidence and proof against you. Then you're going to have potential either trials or hearings, plea, sentencing. That's the overall, that's the big forest of the DWI, but then we get down deep into each area and we realize that we're going to have license issues. If you have an out-of-state driver's license, then we're going to have license issues to deal with one tree, license issues to deal with in New York State, that will be one tree. Another tree, license issues to deal with in your home state. Another tree to deal with is going through a drug alcohol evaluation. That's another zoom in on the tree. That's another fork in the road. Then going through plea bargaining, that's another zoom in on the tree. So each of these areas, we go from the overall hub or the overall hole looking at the larger picture and then zooming in at each of the sections in the smaller picture. Your attorney should go over with you the big map and then go over, I call that the process, and then go over each of the pieces of that map to see what's going on and how it's going to play out. Because the timing, the chronology of the case uh, could be sped up or slowed down depending upon whether it's going to be to your advantage or disadvantage to do that. And that's another thing to, to discuss with your attorney, how fast you go through how fast do you make it from one spot to another spot? And which way you're going to travel? How are you going to travel? Is it a straight line or do you have to take a couple of detours? And is it best if the road is bad as if the weather is bad on a road to take a different road? You know, I always like to make the analogy when I'm going, taking my clients through on my DWI map to say, somewhere along the road there may be landmines. There may be things that can blow you up. My thing is to anticipate where those are going to be and to avoid them together. We're going to avoid them as I guide you and navigate you through this quagmire, this danger zone of the DWI case. If you have questions about your upstate New York DWI case, these are some of the cases that I handle. You can either give me a call or you can send me an email. I'll be more than happy to discuss it with you. And thanks for watching this video. Yeah, in the size. Yeah. Now let's break the 40. 40. 40 miles an hour. Front antenna. Show wow. 40 miles an hour. So they're both in. Now I'm going to do them both together. I'm going to switch it over from speed close, which gave me that arrow.